Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel. My name is Paula, and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way every Monday and Thursday. It's almost summer, and for me that means straw bags or bucket bags, whatever is the term that we all know for them. But I think I'm gonna use the word straw bag here. Uh, so the season for straw bags is approaching, and I have to be honest here, until let's say this year, I felt very strongly <laughs> about designer straw bags or designer bucket bags. And I've been kind of like, this is not a place for me to spend money. I do have one straw bag of my own. It is from a non-designer, non-contemporary, like non-branded uh, company. It's a local brand or a company here in Finland that has it like handmade in I think Estonia or something so basically in Europe and and it's like it's beautiful it's practical it's a very basic straw bag but I've had that bag now for a couple of years and it doesn't look beaten up or like anything related to quality but what I have noticed is that I do use it more and more each summer and this springtime i feel that each actually to look at designer versions of the straw bag but i still have like this blocker on my mind that this is a bag that i will not spend a lot of money on if i even will buy <laughs> buy one um a designer one anyway so like this this is not worth hundreds and thousands of euros for me but i would be super curious to know how do you feel about straw bags and like designer straw bags is this something that you're like well designer bag is a designer bag and it's a bigger sized bag i'm okay with spending also a bit more money or are you more like well it's a very very seasonal bag uh from a material that is not really the most durable so I might also be on like more budget side on the straw bag. So let me know, what do you think of straw bags? Or do you think that it's an overrated, super trendy, hate them, like anything? What are your thoughts? But anyway, so with my obsession, obsession, I'm already obsessed, apparently. Um, I did go and like look what the options are from, especially the designer side. So there are many contemporary brands out there who have... Uh, amazing straw bags that they basically look exactly the same as designer ones <laughs> uh, from Marnie for instance uh, I've seen and then I've seen from um, Isabel Marant and like there are many uh, contemporary brands as well but I want to focus on the designer ones because we love luxury here <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding. Uh, it's because when I was just eyeing on the contemporary ones, the price difference between a contemporary, uh, like branded straw bag and the cheapest luxury version is like non-existent. So the price points go quite close to each other. And that's why I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna forget about the contemporary stuff and only focus on the luxury items. So on this video, let's have a look at six luxury designer brands who offer straw bags for the summer of 2022. And let's go through the most expensive brand to the least expensive brand. And of course there is variation within the brands, um, but it's quite easy to see like which brand offers the most expensive straw bags and where you can get away with a bit smaller budget as well. Let's start with Saint Laurent. So I have three straw bags to show from Saint Laurent. The most expensive one, is currently 1,550 euros. Just gonna let it sink in here. So Saint Laurent offers a full leather tote bag with less than 900 euros currently on their website. But 
a straw bag would be worth 1550 maybe for someone or hopefully for someone it is worth that money um there are also two other alternatives going to a bit different price level so here we have this bag which currently retails for 1150 euros and then we have basically the same bag in a smaller size with 995 euros so Saint Laurent is the most expensive with my research on the designer straw bags and even though I'm self-claiming myself to be obsessed with designer straw bags this springtime or summertime this is this is a hard no <laughs> a hard pass for me um unfortunately or i don't know unfortunately but um but yeah i mean these definitely should get a lot of use out uh with these prices and not only for the beach then let's move on to Balenciaga. So uh, Balenciaga has also, I don't know, straw bag. I think this might be like a bucket bag, kind of, but a similar design uh, with the price tag of 850 euros. It's a very cute one, for sure. There is plenty of delicious colors. If the neutral boring option I chose is not <laughs> within your liking. Uh, but <laughs> I mean, I think this looks really nice, but not worth 850 euros in my opinion. Or then it might be, but I, I think it might also be that I live in a climate where this definitely is a seasonal bag. So the use cases, use cases, I feel like I would be at work. The times that I would actually use this is, um, is not that many. So yeah, that's, that's also quite, quite hefty with the price tag, but it looks really cute. Let's move to Prada. So this very traditional looking straw bag, uh, comes with a price tag of 750 euros. I mean, it's cute. It looks quite simple um, In my opinion, it's kind of like Shoulder strap with a Prada logo on front and now that I'm saying it is probably it's like every one uh, Of these candidates or these alternatives. I'm gonna show you in this video are basically coming with the same idea But I don't know for me. This looks like the most simple one. I don't know. Um, it's hard to explain why with this one I just kind of don't feel or see the design element in this. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm able to express myself clearly with this one. But anyway, so here is the Prada alternative. Three designer houses down, three to go. And next one is Chloe. And I did find actually quite many alternatives from Chloe that would fit this type of like straw bag, raffia bag type of um, topic or theme. So first let's have a look at this bag. So it is called the large basket bag. There are also different colorways. So it looks to be a good sized bag for sure. Uh, it has long straps so you can have it properly on your shoulder and then stuff all your things in here. If this aesthetics is not for your liking, there is also the Marcy basket bag, uh, which looks like this. There were also some other styles, but I chose this one. And this is a tad smaller and the price is 550 euros. Mm, yeah, maybe, could be overpriced. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there is this alternative. And then the cheapest one from Chloe goes to the Woody line, uh, which I think is very well priced from Chloe. So in case someone really enjoys this kind of Chloe uh, text, which I think aesthetically looks really nice. I don't know why it's why I'm feeling like that because usually I'm kind of like no logos 
but with this one I don't really see it as a logo. Strange. But anyway, so this actually has a pretty good price point for what it is and the woody line is very trendy right now. So with 490 euros, this could be yours. The second to last brand would be Saline. Oh, the actual object of my current obsessions. <laughs> uh, so Saline also has a straw bag and I chose the bigger size of them. There's also a smaller one, uh, which is also less expensive. What one but this is 520 euros. Yeah, it's kind of rolling on, on the verge of still might be quite expensive for my liking. Um, but I mean, the Celine Triumph logo, which I think I am brainwashed to love it right now. But what can I say? I really enjoy the aesthetics of Celine. And the... <laughs> the most affordable designer house when it comes to straw bags for the summer is dun dun da loewe and i think this is a classic with straw bags it has been the the kind of it bag for straw bags for many years and i think they have actually risen the prices also on on these but they still are on the affordable side when it comes to designer bags and there are actually quite many alternatives so yes there is the traditional traditional basket bag in the like medium size so the bigger size and that would be 420 euros and if you like this aesthetics but you need a smaller one that would be 380 euros and imagine this bag from a website where you can have a discount code. Yep, this could end up being quite nicely affordable, in my opinion. But while I was scrolling down on Loewe's site, I mean, this is not affordable, but guys, look at the elephant version of this bag. It's so cute. I just, I cannot, I don't know how, to, I don't have words, clearly. It is so cute. And if I would be rolling in dough, I would be more childish or, I don't know, childlike personality or, I don't know, more fun. <laughs> Maybe that would be the word. I think I would go with the elephant. But I live in my world with my budgets and I just... I can't afford to buy things that are cute, especially when the price tag on this one is 820 euros. It's just, it's like, mm, I'm, I was like contemplating is that 420 euros is that is also a lot of money for me on a straw bag. And so like almost doubling it is like, hmm, probably not. <laughs> But yeah, maybe I gave it away that the bag that I'm actually like considering buying for the first time in many years is the Loewe version, the Loewe bag. And I'm like, I'm not sure white or tan leather because I mean, my current straw bag has tan colored leather or brown leather. And um, the white one would be then different. But I'm also a bit concerned, will the white one turn yellow in the sun or like will something happen with the color i don't know um but yeah i think this is a decision i need to try to make and then hope that there is a discount code somewhere out there um or then wait for my birthday which is in summer as well and see if i would want to gift this to myself or something like that so uh, yeah now we have went through the six designer brands uh, that produce straw bags for the spring summer of 2022. There probably are more and I didn't look on every brand's website and look for them. I just looked for these. Um, so if you have any other suggestions, let's continue in the comments down below and share, share them. Because uh, as mentioned, I'm now up for a reasonably priced designer straw bag. Can't believe I'm saying it, but 
that's how it is so we'll just have to wait and see if i actually pull the trigger and put some money on this or will i just work with my my current non-branded like functional straw bag <laughs> thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye